Hey, all right. So we're back. Thank you, uh, SciTech, for sending in our, our mugs for the evening. Enjoying some homegrown kombucha here, uh, grown by Taylor Mathern. Yours, yours truly. Yours truly means me, doesn't it? So I can't say his truly, y'all's truly. We're in Louisiana. We say y'all. But I think it's a very handy word for anyone. Y'all should be in every language. It addresses a group of people. I'm so happy to be with this group of people right here. I've got such talented friends, I really do. So for today, all right. I think first we're gonna kick off with the black hole symmetry from Collision Devices. Um, I've seen this pedal around for a while and I've yet to have a chance to plug in and play with one myself. So this is like our first venture. Um, it's a delay. It's a pitch modulated reverb, essentially a shimmer verb, and it has a fuzz section. There's three foot switches, so you can independently control what's going on in this pedal. And obviously it's capable of huge ambient washes. You can do workhorse delay stuff with it if you want. Um, and absolutely you can do some blown out post-rock stuff. Let's just hear what the delay sounds like. epic very nice Michael yeah all right and uh, up next my uh, friend Steve from Winnipeg runs Dimadash effects and they sent in a couple pedals we played through their t120 last week we've got the spadola fuzz it's a very tasteful germanium fuzz um, gets pretty low to pretty high gain just in this one gain control here and it's got treble and bass controls um, all high quality components let's uh let's play it a little bit through bass and hear what it sounds like sounding. Um, I actually have the Spadola plugged in to the SciTech Phasia, which is a lovely analog phaser that I got to um, dig into a little bit towards the end of last year. Um, you can run it in four, five, or six stages, and it's got a knob where you can select between um, symmetrical phasing or asymmetrical phasing. Um, it just sounds really lush and really full, and it's got tap tempo on it. Uh, let's let's turn that on and hear that with the fuzz.
very nice sounding phase room. All right, we're gonna check out the uh, Alexander Pedals Sugar Cube. It's a digital chorus vibrato, small box, part of their Neo series, uh, which is a great line of pedals that all have preset saving and recalling capabilities, ramp foot switch um, for ramping any parameters that you want um, or expressing any parameters uh, that you want from their expression control as well. Um, and you usually have hidden functions behind the four knobs that you see on the face of the pedal by holding down the, the mode select button. Um, and some of them, including the sugar cube, you can tweak the, the clock, the sample rate, um, to get really lo-fi tones. But it's a very nice sounding digital chorus vibrato. Let's, let's hear what the chorus on it sounds like. Free shit from Pine Box Customs. Uh, we worked with their Sirens V2 uh, earlier in the in the season. This is the first fuzz pedal that I've, I've played from Jordan. Um, it's a fantastic looking pedal, just graphically and aesthetically. Their art is always very on point. Um, it's a fuzz pedal with analog octave up and down, and it has a sub octave. And typically, these are things that when you introduce into a fuzz, they don't track polyphonically very well. Um, so there's a control on this called Wave that kind of smooths out um, the sort of glitchy issues that you, you can, can encounter with that. And you can get a little bit more polyphony than you would with a standard just octave fuzz pedal. So let's, let's kick it on and just hear a few sounds. And this thing can get pretty glitchy if you wanted to. Let's check it out. Turn the wave down. And then you can hear how as I turn the wave control to the right, it sounds significantly cleaner. Tons of gain on tap. Check out the Chase Bliss Dark World dual channel reverb here. Um, I've always loved this, this reverb pedal. You've got the dark half and the world half where you can select from uh, three different modes of, of reverb and then you can mix and combine or use them independently. Um, Tom from Cooper Effects had his hand in, uh, in this in collaborating with, uh, with Chase Bliss on this pedal. Um, I like turning both modes on. Let, let's hear that, and then we've got a couple presets that we've, we've created, um, actually Michael created, that, that we think are really cool. Let's check it out.
tremolo effect by ramping the volume, which is something you can do on any chase bass pedal. It's another really cool secondary way of, of uh, getting a different sound out of, um, you know, what would otherwise just be a reverb pedal with these dip switches on top. There's a lot more you can do with them too. Alright, this one is a fun one. The Ranger FX Mini Bar uh, caused quite a stir whenever it came out because there's, there's just nothing like it. It's a pedal that reacts to whatever liquid you pour into it. Specifically, it's an overdrive, but you can absolutely get some spitty, um, gated, almost fuzz sounds out of it. You can get a low gain drive. It gets very high gain depending on what liquid you put. It's a sensor inside. The, the capsule here that is detecting the opacity and basically however much light um, passes through the liquid determines uh, how gained up your sound is going to be and uh, how bright or, or dark it sounds. So we've got some Jack Daniels and we've got some 1800 tequila and uh, we're going we're gonna to give it a test. I don't have a dropper, which is how you actually should be applying liquid into this pedal. Uh, we're just going to try to be super careful about it. As you can hear, it is actually a fantastic sounding drive. This is Jack Daniels whiskey inside. Black Fountain V3 with Tap Tempo from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Um, I'm sure you've heard of Old Blood Noise, and this is the pedal that started it all, their flagship. And V3 is just as lush sounding as V1, and it does even more. Oil can delay is obviously something that not everybody's had a chance to play, but let's check out what the, um, the organ mode of this sounds like. can get 100% wet. Yeah, Michael's running through the kaleidoscope reverb by, uh, by Jupiter FX. Um, isn't it a gorgeous looking pedal? All of their stuff is aesthetically just on point. You have reverb, um, feedback controls, and then a gain and compression knob here. That's really interesting because this, this pedal can be really good for post-rock or loud music, just as useful as it is for clean and airy ambient sounds like this. There's a kill foot switch for killing the dry signal and a swell soft touch foot switch in the center, which brings out the, the oscillations and just ramps up the feedback. Let's add a little gain and compression into the sound and then we'll get some oscillations as well.
It's a very lush spring sound, super bright and, and dreamy. Could see this being applied to a lot of genres of music. And moving on, Stone Deaf effects has sent in a few different preamp type pedals, uh, as well as their Trimotron that we're going to dig in in a later week. One issue with spreading over 150 pedals across all these different players for this many songs is just having some kind of preamp pedal for everybody's board changing in and out um, every week. So I think we may be using um, some of theirs a little bit more regularly just to fill in. And we're excited about the first one that we're digging into is the Q Boost. And you can use this in two different modes, vintage or modern. The vintage mode has um, a lot more gain. It's going to push your amp harder and you're going to get some immediate grit, and then the modern mode is a little closer to a clean boost. Um, but what's really cool about it, besides that it just sounds great offhand when you engage the pedal on the left-hand side, is that when you engage the frequency side, you can use the secondary knob to sweep and find that perfect um, area of frequencies that you really want to um, enhance. So let's check it out in, uh, in vintage mode here, just engaging the pedal. Very nice. Let's try modern mode. Very simple interface. We can use this knob to uh, dial in the volume of the pedal after the effect has been turned on. Now I'm going to turn on the frequency side. I can sweep this around. really all just about highlighting the sound that you're going for. You get a nice woolly sound right there, or bright and sizzling. Excited to get into the Ranger Effects Echo X. <laughs> um, what is claimed as the world's first gated delay pedal. It's uh, already a fantastic sounding little digital delay and you can hook your Igor foot switch uh, controller to it to, uh, to affect multiple parameters on it. But I think everybody really wants to hear what does gated delay sound like? First, let's run over a few of the controls. You've got your input volume, and there's a nice little meter that shows you whether you're overcharging the input or not. And then a final output volume. There's a level of your delay. And of course, you have your rate and feedback controls. Let's hear what this sounds like with the, with the gate up. as you can hear, the repeat stop when you're playing stops. It's just a ton of situations that you could come up with really cool progressions and transform your music with this. So very cool Ranger effects. Then we have our first offering from Farm Pedals, um, the Fly Agaric Phaser. And it's actually uh, kind of a dual phaser of, of, uh, of a sorts. You can flip between two different phaser speeds um, on the fly. Just realized why you guys called it the Fly Agaric. You've got two knobs here to control the, um, the tempos of the LFOs. It's a very nice sounding phaser. Um, let's kick it on. It's it's new to me. Maybe it's new to you as well. 
Let's flip to the other phase mode, yeah. This is very handy because obviously fast phasing is super psychedelic and and exciting, but like sometimes we just need those slow panning phase movements and you can just hop back and forth in the middle of your song or your set. It's very cool. All right. Um, so this is going to be the first pedal from Fjord Fuzz that has entered the series, and they've got a pretty wide range of, uh, of dirt pedals um, that do really interesting things, and there's always some kind of twist to their pedals as far as I've discovered so far. This is the Berserk Fuzz. You've got two Space Echo Style preamps running in series. Uh, it can get very explosive and very zippy um, sounding. You can also get a gritty overdrive out of it, but with the impedance controls that you have on the input and the output, you can actually get an even wider range of tones inside it. Um, let's, let's hear it kind of gained up at first. heard Phoebe singing through the Solid Gold Effects EM3 tape echo with the octave down control on. And we had her in the uh, three tape head mode. This is probably one of my favorite tape voice delays. Um, you can run it with one head, two heads, or three. You, the sub octave is also um, op totally optional, so you can disengage it. It was on my top 10 pedals of 21 uh, for good reason last year. Um, Solid Gold Effects makes some incredible pedals and I think this is one of their, their greatest achievements here. Moving on, Michael is about to dig into the PDF X1 from Stone Def Effects and uh, we're hoping to use this uh, on several sessions here. Um, it does clean, it does dirty boosting, and again you can boost a certain group of frequencies that you want, but it has a bandwidth control that allows you to broaden the cue or keep it narrow for really precise boosting if you want. Um, and then you can adjust which frequency range you want to live in and how much you want to sort of accentuate those. So um, let's dig into it. with the highs. Or we can add some low mids here. I, 
have it at some pretty extreme settings right now. Let's narrow the cue just so that we can hear that happen. It's also pretty cool. You can plug an expression pedal in and, and sweep the frequencies. Also has a clean mode. Taylor's about to run into the uh, Mask Audio Park Garden. Alec from Mask Audio is a good friend of mine. He makes some amazing dirt pedals. And this pedal was a collaboration between himself and Ian Pritchard from Collector Emitter. If you're not familiar with Collector Emitter, um, he is a legendary pedal demo artist and just an all around incredible musician, composer, songwriter. Um, and he's been in the scene for a while. Uh, he really understands pedals and, and just has a knack for bringing out the best qualities in them. Uh, the Park Garden is two fuzz circuits in one, and you can control the gain um, of fuzz one into fuzz two, and then there's a master volume, a texture knob for getting some different gated, spitty sounds out of it, and then the yuss, which is something that's kind of um, a regular on a lot of Mask Audio's pedals, um, and does different things from, from pedal to pedal, but often either adds even more saturation or changes the texture in some way. So let's engage it, and I've got mostly fuzz one on right now. Bleed in fuzz two. I'm gonna control everything with the master volume so nothing gets too out of hand. Let's roll this texture knob over. Yeah. Very spitty. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, the uh, the native audio Kiyo. Uh, I did a reel on this, uh, actually several reels uh, a while back. I was pretty inspired by it. Um, I mean, it's a three knob overdrive, yes, but it is voiced incredibly well, and there's just no bad sound. Um, you've got volume, you've got gain control, and, and you have a, you have tone. Um, let's hear it. It gets pretty low gain to very high gain. Loads of sustain on tap. Clean it up. You might think we're crazy, but we're going to run a tremolo through uh, through bass guitar. Janice Altmanis sent in a few pedals. It's a lone pedal builder from Latvia that builds with all high-quality parts, and everything is hand-wired, hand-soldered. He's got some incredible dirt pedals, and this is my first time um, digging into anything on the modulation side. It's a three-knob tremolo, rate, depth, and volume. Um, it's an all analog tremolo. It sounds fantastic. I've run it through a few other things and uh, let's just check out what it sounds like on, on bass, just for fun.
that's going to do it for us for uh, for tonight. We've had a long night. We've played a lot of pedals, and of course, we do have to spend time testing and exploring and hearing sounds and trying to pull the best sounds out of these. So everyone's worked really, really hard. And thank you so much to all the players in the room and all the people, including the <laughs> the sound team and the camera team for. Uh, making this possible, and of course all the companies that have sent in all the gear and are working with us on this project. Hope everybody has a killer, uh, killer week, and don't forget to stick around and figure out which pedals we're gonna uh, we're gonna be giving away. So, catch y'all later. <laughs>